the Thames estuary off Sheerness, the submarine truculent lies trapped, 54 feet below sea level. Aboard her as she sank in the darkness were 80 men, 18 of them civilian dockyard workers. As dawn breaks over the estuary, rescue ships speed to the disaster area. Marking the scene of the wreck is a boy released by the truculent from the seabed. Its presence give hope of life within the stricken submarine. Warships, salvage craft, lifeboats cluster around the marker boy standing too, while divers and frogmen search for signs of life. For 20 hours, rescue operations go on without a stop. Then gently, the truth is known. 52 men have perished. Launched in 1942 at Barrow, HMS Truculent saw wartime service in the Pacific. A sister ship of the ill-fated Thetis, she sank 20 vessels and was engaged in many clandestine operations. Now she is no more. Her end brought about in the peaceful Thames estuary, following a collision with a Swedish steamer, Divina. The Divina has been arrested in accordance with Admiralty procedure so that her officers can give evidence at the forthcoming Court of Inquiry. Further upriver at Chatham, the frigate Cowdray lands 10 survivors from the truculent. All lost their clothing in the disaster. Shivering and exhausted, they have a harrowing tale to tell. The nation's sympathy goes out to those so suddenly bereaved. The disaster shocks our minds into renewed recognition of the hazards of the sea. Thank you.